welcome everyone my name is Bilal Malik uh, in this video tutorial I will give you a brief review of uh, PWM based charge controller uh, its circuit diagram and its working uh, let's start with the uh, solar uh, solar charge controller PWM based solar charge controller uh, schematic I have used three term uh, three terminal blocks uh, as you can see let me set it first as you can see uh, I have used three terminal blocks uh, block number uh, let me set it first yes a uh, J2 block is for uh, PV panel uh, uh, you will connect uh, PV, pan uh, PV panel to uh, photovoltaic panel to uh, this terminal block and uh, J3 uh, block is for uh, terminal block is for battery and uh, J4 terminal block is for load so let's start with uh, uh, battery charging point of view uh, so you, as you can see uh, at this point you will connect uh, so, um, your photovoltaic panel or solar panel and uh, this circuit uh, this circuit is used to uh, Mayor voltages of uh, uh, solar panel and uh, this is actually a difference amplifier and uh, difference amplifier used to step, step uh, down voltages of uh, photovoltaic panel so that uh, microcontro microcontroller can easily read it. Uh, this ADC is connected with microcontroller at an analog to digital converter pin. Uh, as we know, microcontroller can never read voltages uh, greater than five voltages, and uh, it may da uh, voltages greater than five volt may damage to microcontroller. So uh, this different uh, difference amplifier is used to reduce voltages of uh, uh, photovoltaic panel. And difference amplifier, I as I, ha I have already written in my tutorial, the reason why I have used difference amplifier. And this 7812 is uh, used uh, as a voltage regulator to generate voltage supply for uh, 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 proton pole. Now, come to this optocoupler. This optocoupler is used to provide isolation between uh, uh, charging circuitry and uh, and and uh, a microcontroller. And this is this uh, this is a circuit diagram of proton pole. And this is over. Uh, I have used uh, two MOSFETs uh, to increase uh, current uh, current handling capability. So uh, PWM is come from uh, microcontroller, and uh, this is. Uh, this is a circuit diagram of uh, this portion is for the uh, totem pole and this is uh, over switch uh, sw uh, this is MOSFET uh, acid switches and this is these are the connections for battery so battery will charge so battery will charge through so battery battery will charge uh, through a negative terminal of solar panel and I have used a voltage uh, divider circuit to measure voltages of a battery and uh, these pesters are used for uh, filtering of voltages and to wide for volta uh, to wide voltage fluctuation to read to microcontroller because it may harm microcontroller this is a uh, part of uh, battery charging part and uh, now uh, come to uh, uh, this I have used uh, uh, this shunt resistor to measure volt uh, to measure current uh, to measure charging current so uh, current may be uh, in the order of uh, 10 ampere 8 ampere uh, if the current is uh, 10 ampere or 8 ampere it, it may generate voltages uh, cross shunt resistor greater than 5 volt so that's why again uh, there is a circuit uh, difference between vibe is used to step down voltages to, uh, to reach to adc uh, this is uh, this circuit is for uh, uh, battery charging and uh, same circuit is used for load and you can as you can see uh, load current is also uh, also uh, made using difference amplifier and uh, and and IRF uh, IRF 3205 is used as a switches so this is a basic circuitry of uh, uh, PWM based solar charge controller and this is uh, this uh, triple five uh, there is one more thing triple five timer is used to generate negative voltage which is given to uh, over difference amplifier circuit the uh, PIC 16F8876 uh, microcontroller is used to read uh, ADC values and uh, and to generate variable duty cycle and uh, uh, there is uh, I have made a separate circuit for uh, LCD display and uh, uh, this this connector is used for to connect L LCD display let's now go to PCB uh, this is 
uh, PCB of my project and uh, you can see a 3D view of this project by going to 3D visualization and this is uh, 3D view of my uh, so, uh, PWM based solar charge controller and uh, you can easily make this project if you know how to read voltages, currents and uh, um, temperature etc. And uh, this is not difficult to make this project and uh, I hope you can, uh, I have uh, given you a basic understanding of this project and it will, ha it will be helpful for you to, ma uh, to make this project. Thanks for watching this video. Allah Hafiz.